Hey, what's up, guys? It's Silver here. Welcome back to the channel, man. Thank you guys for joining me once again. I hope you guys are having a great, beautiful Monday. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Call of Duty 2024 and my personal excitement for the game. We're going to be talking about how it's had four years of full development by Treyarch's team, the potential game modes that they will have, like multiplayer zombies and the potential merger with Warzone, the potential gameplay and movement and how, you know, the vibe will be, the legit just everything about the game. And we're going to be talking about my personal excitement and why I'm actually excited for Call of Duty 2024. But before we head into that, if you guys haven't yet, drop a like and subscribe and join my Discord server down below. But let's get right into the nitty gritty. So Call of Duty 2024 has three potential different names. Call of Duty Black Ops 5, Call of Duty Black Ops 6, and Call of Duty Black Ops Go 4. For me, I don't care what it's called. As long as it's developed by Treyarch, that's all I care about. Like, Treyarch, in my opinion, for the past couple years, the way Infinity Ward has been running their Call of Duty games, Treyarch is the best studio out there. For, just for making the most polished games for Call of Duty recently. If we compare from when this new Call of Duty era started of Warzone and all that stuff with Modern Warfare 2019, Infinity Ward was really good. Treyarch had a stinker, kind of a mid-stinker, but with Black Ops Cold War, they kind of brought it back, and then after... Vanguard with Sledgehammer, then Modern Warfare 2 2022, and then Sledgehammer being forced by Infinity Ward to make Modern Warfare 3 in a, under a couple of months, under a year or so. I truly believe Treyarch is the best development team. And I have a lot of faith in Treyarch, and I, I'm very excited because Treyarch, for me, in my opinion, is now the best development team in Call of Duty and in an Activision. Like, I'm not gonna lie, they don't do the best things with updates and all that stuff and balancing things. Sledgehammer does the best for that and just fixing things in general, but for a majority of players who played Treyarch games, they usually love it. Like, Treyarch's games are mostly beloved, except for like one or two Treyarch games that they've developed for Call of Duty. But I'm just excited to be playing a Treyarch Call of Duty because I know they've done me right in the past, and I don't think they're going to mess up like Infinity War did over the past two to three years now. Next thing I want to talk about, which is an important part to why I'm really excited, it's because this Call of Duty, Call of Duty 2024, has had four full years of development since 2020. But that's what people are saying. In my opinion, I think that Treyarch has had at least two full years of development, and that's still a lot more than what Sledgehammer had recently what Infinity Ward had recently. So I'm very excited because Treyarch has been helping out Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer with their games, with their third modes, with being zombies, Warzone, whatever, spec ops and stuff. Them having, you know, a technically four full years of development, I'm excited, man. Because Treyarch is the type of company that will look at what mistakes cause games to like not be beloved by the community, what mistakes were made, and they won't make those mistakes. Nine times out of 10, they will not make that mistake. So hopefully that with four full years of development, Treyarch has seen the problems they had in Modern Warfare, Cold War, Vanguard, Modern Warfare 2 2022, and now Modern Warfare 3. Just the four full years of development and it being developed by Treyarch, it makes me excited for Call of Duty 2024. I just personally think that Treyarch is not under a time crunch to develop a full-on Call of Duty game. They've had years of feedback and errors and mistrials with other games, so they know what not to do and what to do. So that's what's really making me excited. But another crucial part that's making me excited is the game modes, especially zombies. And that's why I chose zombies gameplay as the background gameplay for this video. The multiplayer is going to be insane. It's Treyarch. They never miss with their multiplayer. And now the zombies. Listen. I know it's been a rough couple of years for zombies players. Dude, I don't even want to go for Borealis because it's not round-based zombies, but I have to because I'm a camo grinder, okay? This zombies game mode being round-based, I can actually have fun playing by myself, playing with my cousins, playing with anybody because we could just chill on zombies. Listen, I've missed Treyarch zombies for the longest time. When Activision shut down Plutonium, which was basically um, BO2 revived and like other past Call of Duties revived, I was in so many custom Discord servers, servers from Plutonium that were just zombies based. I'm a zombies fan for life and I'm really excited to play a zombies developed by Treyarch with four years of development and also following their story and not having Sledgehammer and or Infinity War try to implement their own thing. And the fact that it's round based makes me sold on the game already. And the next game mode I want to talk about is the potential Warzone game mode. Okay. We know that they have like a 50 50% chance of having Call of Duty 2024, that's developed by Treyarch, get merged with the current Warzone we have right now. I would not be surprised if they did that. But I would love to see a Treyarch direction with Warzone, with how they would do the movement, the gunplay, the gun balancing, 
the meta, all that stuff, and the maps especially. Because I know for a fact that Treyarch was the first development team to add a battle royale into Call of Duty. You guys remember Call of Duty Black Ops 4 with Blackout? Looking back on it, it wasn't really that bad. It was just Fortnite was just better. But this potential merger with Warzone 3 or Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 2022-2023's Warzone merging with Call of Duty 2024, like, come on, that's got to get you excited, even if you don't like Warzone or even if you do like Warzone. Just the potential game modes that we will have from Zombies, Campaign, Multiplayer, and Warzone, there's just going to be so much content to look at, unlock, play. I'm very excited for the content, man, because, dude, the gameplay, the movement, it, it's going to be insane. I already know it. And after four full years of feedback from Modern Warfare 2019 to 2024, like, you know, about three and a half years of feedback from changing the movement, how guns are balanced, how the game looks, all that stuff. I cannot wait, bro. There's no, I, I truly believe that there's no way Treyarch Fs this up for themselves, man. Because, dude, Call of Duty 2024, after all the bad and good changes from all these other development companies, there's no way Treyarch makes the same mistakes as them. The only thing that I can see going wrong is that they add a gun that's just super overpowered, just like the old days, and they are forced to change it. I want Call of Duty 2024 to legit just be all guns are usable, and you don't have to look up a meta. And if there is a meta, it only lasts like a week or two. Like the biggest problems I had with Modern Warfare 2 2022 was that you literally had to use the tag and the Lockman sub and other weapons at certain points. Like you would have to switch them out all the time. That's not really fun. I want to use any gun at any period of the game and it can still be hitting because it's really boring going against the same gun every single time, man. It's really got bored. Modern Warfare 3 still has that same problem, but they just frequently change the meta, which I really like. But, but I'm really hoping Treyarch's Call of Duty 2024 has the perfect balancing, man, because I miss perfect weapon balancing dude but i'm super excited about the the potential gameplay the movement the game modes all that stuff I'm excited for the content call of duty 2024 will get from treyarch and the two other development studios that will help out with the game and i even forgot to mention this there's gonna be easter eggs in zombies like i completely forgot about that i'm a huge easter egg guy i'm not good at doing them but i love trying to do an easter egg by myself with my friends with my cousins and all that stuff man i'm just super excited to actually get my hands on and play call of duty 2024 and the main reason why i'm excited for call of duty 2024 it's not just it being developed by treyarch it having four full years of development content in the game modes with multiplayer zombies and the, and the potential warzone merger and just everything that i've talked about so far the biggest reason why i'm excited for call of duty 2024 it's because this will be my first call of duty treyarch game that I'll play fully for the entire life cycle since Black Ops 3, which was back all the way in 2015, 2016. My excitement all rises because of Black Ops 3 was the last Treyarch game that I played fully from release date all the way to the end of the game's life cycle. Black Ops 3 was an amazing Call of Duty in a bad era, man. Its multiplayer was good. The microtransactions suck zombies was good oh my god don't even get me started on zombies and i have so many great memories on black ops 3 and i cannot wait man black ops 4 and call of duty go for i have memories on as well but i didn't play fully i stopped after about two months three months so the kid limbo inside of me is very excited because dude back in 2015 i was only 10 years old playing call of duty but those are the reasons why i'm excited for call of duty 2024 i know the cod cycle is really hitting me right now it's a guilty pleasure of mine. But listen, you have all these great reasons to be excited for a Call of Duty game for once. Why not enjoy it and just feed into that excitement? You got to enjoy life sometimes and you got to enjoy the little things that come with the things that you like because it's not always going to be good and or bad. But yeah, it's been your boy Limbo, though, guys. Drop a like, subscribe, join my Discord server. And yeah, peace.